This is the third video in our series showcasing an instrument proficiency check in upstate New York. Check out the link here or in the description to see the first two and all other videos of this flight we're conducting at a Saranac Lake, New York. We've done our first approach at Lake Placid and are now in the hold on the MIST procedure. Our instructor wants to see two approaches on the ILS-23 back at Saranac Lake. One will be to the decision altitude and the other will be a circle to land on runway 9. We'll also have a panel failure on the vacuum instruments to contend with on that approach. After reviewing the approach plate for the ILS, we're ready to proceed. Center 518 Foxtrot Tango would like to request the ILS runway 23 at Saranac Lake, followed by vectors for another ILS with the circle to land runway 9er. November 8 Foxtrot Tango, Roger, proceed direct John, climb and maintain 5400. Direct John, climb and maintain 5400, 8 Foxtrot Tango. So we hit flight plan and scroll to Saranac Lake. That's our destination now. Direct, enter, enter. Then we hit PROC and select the ILS, beginning from John, and activate it. Desire track is 055, so we turn towards that as we climb to 5400. It's about a 17 mile leg to John, so we have a bit of time to catch our breath, which we'll need because it's about to get hectic. As we approach, we get our clearance. November 8, Foxtrot Tango, you're three miles from John, cross John at 5,400, cleared ILS-23 approach. John at 5,400, cleared ILS-23, 8 Foxtrot Tango. It'll be another parallel entry at John. We'll turn outbound to 049. After one minute, we make our inbound turn to intercept the localizer, which we have programmed on the nav 1 on 108.9er. We can switch over to VLOC mode by pressing the CDI key so that we're now tracking the ILS guidance. We're gonna have the autopilot fly both the localizer and glide slope guidance on this one, which we'll arm by hitting APR on the CAP 140. We'll also program in our glide slope intercept altitude of 3800. After intercepting and crossing John, we can descend to that altitude by reducing power and putting in a vertical speed of five or 600 feet per minute. We'll level off at 3800 and be looking for the glide slope needle to come in. Once it does, we'll reduce power, set up flaps, and the autopilot glide slope mode goes active, taking us down along it. We'll get our approval to switch to CTAF, which we have programmed on standby. We've got a heavy tailwind on the approach, so about a 600 foot per minute descent is necessary to hold the glide slope. Also notice the crab we have in here for that easterly wind. We're making all announcements on CTAF as we come in, going down to the decision altitude of 1863. Once there, we disengage the autopilot and start our climb out. The MIST procedure has us holding runway heading through 3500 before starting a climbing right turn. Once reaching 3500, we'll start that turn and we're probably high enough to be able to contact center again. Center 518 Foxtrot Tango is MIST approach at Saranac Lake. November 518 Foxtrot Tango, Boston Center, radar contact, fly heading 360, vectors for the ILS, maintain 5400. 360, maintain 5,400, 8 Foxtrot Tango. So we're being vectored around again. Our next and final approach will be the ILS, flown with a partial panel and with a circle to land to runway 9. That'll be covered in our final video. Check out that one and all the videos in this series at the link here or in the description. See you there.